Clyde, how are you? You feeling well?
Come stand with the brave who serve among us as they strive for justice and peace. Those who work each day to protect us, come stand with the brave. Come stand with the fight who fight for freedom On these shores and far across the sea Those who pledge their lives to protect us Come stand with the brave Their courage strengthens us, their service teaches us, and we are humbled by the sacrifice they give. Come stand with the brave who've gone before facing foes and dangers unknown. Those who gave their all to protect us, come stand with the brave. Come stand with the brave. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. This opening song for this Shabbat of Memorial Day weekend reminds us of the importance of uh, what Memorial Day is all about, celebrating those who bravely defended our shores, defended our country, defended our, our democracy, and uh, so woven into the fabric of tonight's Shabbat service will be the celebration of freedom. Before I read a prayer for Memorial Day, I look out in the congregation and it brings great uh, pleasure to my heart to see uh, a few folks who have bravely overcome uh, illness and uh, it welcome back. So I say welcome back to Ted, I say welcome back to Robert, both of you uh, were in pretty dire straits for a while. It also makes me super happy to see some folks out here for the first time. And welcome to, back to Shabbat Services Live, Sherry. And it's really wonderful to, to see you. And for those who are streaming from uh, your homes, Shabbat Shalom. It's great to be here. On this Memorial Day weekend, we open our Shabbat services with a meditation. Our God and God of our ancestors, we thank you for the numerous blessings you have bestowed upon our nation. Out of many nations of the world, our country has been blessed with the singular opportunity to demonstrate how peoples of many faiths and heritages can live side by side and enrich one another's lives through friendship and the sharing of our unique traditions. We are united this day in a solemn act of gratitude to those who have served our nation's defense, to those who have risked their personal safety to save the lives of others, and above all, to those who have died serving our country. Their sacrifices are forever remembered by us and by our children for generations to come. We will not forget. Grant us, O God, 
the wisdom to uphold our nation's virtues, that it may continue to serve as a beacon of liberty and harmony for all the world to see. Amen. Amen. As we ask God to bless our country, we also invite God's presence on Shabbat to be here with us as we ask God's ministering angels to join us in our Shabbat uh, presence. We scroll or turn in our prayer books to page four as we sing together, Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi Amlachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Boachem le Shalom, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech. Malachi Hamlachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Chuni le Shalom, Malachi Hashalom, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Hem le shalom, malachi a shalom, malachi el yom. Mi melech, malachi amlachim, hakadosh baruch hu. And as we prepare to welcome Shabbat with the lighting of our Sabbath candles, we look back on a week of many celebrations. We celebrated the birthdays of Gary Cobb, Cheryl Androfi, Cynthia Anholt, Mark Rosenfield, Amy McGuire, Marilee Mar Mar Steiner, Asa Foreman, Matthew Pappas, Scott Lieben, Isabella Ferguson, and the anniversaries of Ed and Betsy Schreiber, Jack and Arden Burley, Richard and Lynn Gaudette, Jeff and Lauren Harrison, Mike and Kitty Khan. Happy anniversary, Mike. How many 38 years? years? 38. 38 years. Wow. Mazel tov. And uh, Larry and Khaki Buck. We do not take these moments for granted. We uh, welcome Shabbat and thank God for the Sabbath day, with the lighting of our Shabbat candles on page six. Maruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kichanu b'mitzvotav, V'tsivanu lechad likne, lechad likne. Shel Shabbat Amen. Praised are you, eternal our God, ruling spirit of the universe, who sanctifies us with commandments and has commanded us regarding the lighting of our Shabbat candles. Together on page 7, may God, God bless, bless us, us with Shabbat, Shabbat joy. joy. May, may God, God bless, bless us with Shabbat, Shabbat holiness. holiness. May God, God bless, bless us with Shabbat, Shabbat peace. peace. Amen. Amen. We sanctify the Sabbath with the sweetness of wine. Praised are you, eternal our God, ruling spirit of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Maruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Morei peri hagofen, Amen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam. 
Asher ki tsharav mitzvotav beratzav anu de Shabbat kodesho beachava uvratzon in hilanu zikaron lemasei bereshit ki hu yom tehila lamikra hekodesh. Zechel etziat mitzrayim Kivanu v'chata V'otanu kidashta Mikol hamim V'shabat kodshecha Be'ava uvratzon in haltanu. Baruch ata Adonai mikadesh ha-shabbat. Amen. L'chaim. L'chaim. Our service continues as we turn in our prayer books to page 11 and rise for our call to worship. Baruchu et Adonai Hamvorach, praise the eternal God to whom all praise is due. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'olam va'ed, let us praise, praise the eternal God to whom all praise is due, now and forever. Ya la 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 Baruchu et Adonai, Hamevorah. Baruch Adonai, Hamevorah, Hamevorah, Leolam ba'ed. Amevora, Amevora, Leolam Ba'ed. Page 12. As the universe whispers of a oneness that pulses through all that is, the human spirit longs for connection and unity. Beyond the mysteries of the heavens above, within the complexities of the earth below, resides a power which echoes of your eternal order. Beyond the drama of our daily toil, within each of life's highs and lows, reside hidden sparks of your divine wisdom. As we sing of the oneness of God, we rejoice in the wonders of the universe and remind ourselves that all we see and do bears witness to the source of our existence. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad, hear, O Israel, the Eternal is our God, the Eternal God is one. Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto Le'olam Ba'ed, let us praise God who rules in glory forever and ever. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kevod Malchuto, Leolam Vaed. Please be seated as we turn to page 16 
and express our love for God. You shall love the eternal your God with, with all, all your heart, heart with all, all your soul, with all your, your might. And, and these words which I command you this day shall be upon your heart. You shall teach them diligently, diligently unto your children. children. You, you shall speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and they shall be a symbol before your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, that you may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. The Eternal One led you out of Egypt to be your God. The Eternal One alone is your God. The eternal truth is that you alone are God and there is none else. Through your power alone has Israel been redeemed from the hand of oppressors. Great deeds have you wrought on our behalf and wonders without number. You have kept us in life. You have not let our footsteps falter. Our faith has sustained us through long years of oppression. And now that we live in this land of freedom, may we continue to be faithful to you in your ways. Our God, our refuge, and our hope, we glorify your name now as we did in people in ancient days. Who is like you, Eternal One? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awe-inspiring, working wonders? Mi chamo chaba eili madonai, mi chamo cha ne dar ba kodesh, mi chamo cha po eili madonai, mi chamo cha ne dar ba kodesh. No rat hilod, o sefele. Rat he lord, O Sefele Adonaiim Lom Leolam Vahe Malchut Chara Uvanecha Woke Ayam Lifne Mosheva Miriam Zelianu Veamru Elianu ve amru Adonai lo leolam vaet Mi chamo cha ba elim Adonai Mi chamo cha nedar ba kodesh Mi chamo cha ba elim Adonai Mi Continue on page 20. Open our eyes, O God, that we may see and welcome all truth, whether shining from wisdom of ancient revelations or reaching to us through the prophets of our own time. For you continue to shed your light on every generation that yearns for you and seeks your guidance. We do not ask for a life of ease, for happiness without pain or disappointment. Instead, we ask you to teach us to be uncomplaining and unafraid. In, In our, our darkness, darkness, help us to find your light. In our loneliness, may we discover others who suffer our plight. Give us strength to face the future with hope and courage. Grant us wisdom to see that from life's discords and conflicts, we may draw blessing. Help us understand that we are called upon not only to enjoy the richness of the earth, but to exalt in the heights of attained adequate climbing toward. Let our darkness be dispelled by your love, that we may rise above fear and failure. 
May each of our steps along life's path be sustained by faith. For you, O oh God, fill our lives with meaning. The Shameru Vene Israel at Hashabat La So Tet Hashabat La Doro Tamberito La The Shameru Vene Israel at Hashabat Lahasot et ha-shabbat Ledorotam berito olam Bein hiu vein b'nei Yisrael Bein hiu vein b'nei Yisrael O tile olam O tile olam Shameru b'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la-hasot et ha-shabbat l'dorotam berito olam ki sheshet yamim ki sheshet yamim Asadonai et hashamayim vet haaretz v'shameru b'nei Yisrael et hashabat la'asot et hashabat v'dorotam berit olam. Ubayom Hashvi Shavat Vahinafash Shameru Bene Israel Et Hashabat Lahasot Et Hashabat in you it together at the bottom of page 22 the people of Israel shall preserve the Sabbath observing the Sabbath throughout the generations as a perpetual covenant it is a bond between God and the people of Israel forever we rise now as we join together in the Amidah Adonai sifatai tifta ufi agita ilatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu veimotenu Elohe Avraham velohe Sarah Behol Dorotam, Hael Hagadol Hagibor Vehanora, El El Yon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vizoher Haste Avot Vimahot, Umevi Geula Livne Venehem, Leman Shemo Be Ahava, Melech Ozer Umoshia Umagain, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magain Avraham Vezrat Sarah, continue together on page 26 we praise you God of our mothers and fathers God of Abraham and Sarah and all their generations you bestow loving kindness upon all your children you remember the devotion of those who came before us in your love you bring redemption to their descendants for the sake of your name you are our ruler our helper our savior and protector we praise you eternal one Shield of Abraham, help of Sarah. Eternal is your power, O God. You are mighty to save. In loving kindness you sustain the living. In the multitude of your mercies you preserve us all. You uphold the falling and heal the sick. Free the captives and keep faith with your children 
in death as in life, who is like you, almighty God, author of life and death, source of salvation. We praise you, for you have implanted within us eternal life. Please be seated as we continue with our prayer for peace. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to banish war, for you have filled the world with paths to peace, if only we would take them. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to root out prejudice, for you have given us eyes with which to see the good in all people, if only we would use them rightly. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to end despair, for you have given us the power to end poverty and to give hope, if only we would use our power justly. Therefore, we pray to you, O God, for the strength, determination, and patience to continue the never-ending work of, of learning, learning peace, of, of seeking, seeking justice, justice, of resisting prejudice, of guarding hope, of giving comfort, of choosing life. Only then shall we know peace. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Atahu Melech Lechol HaShalom Ki Atahu Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom Shalom Rahab Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rahab Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Letov Eneha Livarech Et Amcha Yisrael Vechol Eitu Vechol Shaha Ishlomecha Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Tassim Le'olam the soul that has been implanted within each of us is pure and our bodies are created in God's image there are times when heart and soul do not feel so whole at times of loss at times of illness at times when we struggle with mental health or addiction, we can often feel a sense of distance from God and a sense of distance from our community. And so on page 31, we have the beautiful words of the Misha Berach prayer. In it, we ask God to reconnect those connections, those bridges between community and those we love who are ill, between God, the healer, and those who suffer. We ask God to bless us with a refuah shlema, a complete and total recovery from whatever it is that is ailing us. And before we sing these beautiful words together, I'd like to invite anyone who knows someone who is in need of a prayer for healing to raise your hand so we can include the names of your friends and family in our prayers tonight.
We also include in our prayers tonight, prayers for Jack Selver and Sophia Nina Gallagher, as we ask God to bless our friends and our family with healing of body, mind, and spirit. And let us say Amen. Bless those in need of healing with refruha shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. One of the great lessons in democracy was taught by a Jewish chaplain by the name of Rabbi Roland Gittelson during World War II. Rabbi Gittelson helped to dedicate the 5th Marine Division Cemetery on Iwo Jima in April of 1945. Burying the dead was an extraordinarily difficult thing to do during the Battle of Iwo Jima, and so the dedication of this cemetery afterwards was particularly solemn and extremely uh, disturbing occasion. These men, said Rabbi Gittelson, have paid the ghastly price of freedom. If that freedom was once again lost, the unforgivable blame would be ours, not theirs. So it is we, we the living, who are here to dedicate and to consecrate this cemetery. We dedicate ourselves, said Rabbi Gittelson, to, the, to live together in peace the way they fought and the way that they are buried in this war. Here lie men who loved America because their ancestors generations ago helped her founding, and other men who loved her with equal passion because they themselves or their fathers escaped from oppression to her blessed shores. Here lie officers, here lie men, rich and poor together, here are Protestants, Catholics, and Jews together. Here no man prefers another because of his faith or despises him because of his color. Among these men, there is no discrimination, no prejudice, no hatred. Theirs is the highest and purest price for democracy. Anyone among us, said Rabbi Gittelson, us the living, who fail to understand this truth, will thereby betray those who lie here in the dead. Whoever of us lifts his hand in hate against a brother, or thinks himself superior to those who happen to be in the minority, makes of this ceremony and of this bloody sacrifice it commemorates empty and hollow, and a mockery. Rabbi Gittelson's words 
are powerful. And they are as relevant today as they were in 1945. Our soldiers and veterans not only defend our democracy, they epitomize it. They live it. They model it for our nation, our troops, our men and women, gay and straight, Jew, Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, black, white, brown, and more, represent a complete cross-section of our nation. On Memorial Day, we are called upon as a nation to honor those whose lives were lost in battles that were waged in defense of this democratic heritage we so enjoy and embrace. And so on this Shabbat of Memorial Day, I propose that we extend honors to our, our, those who have fought so valiantly and who continue to fight so valiantly. We honor them in the following way. Let us meditate on the meaning and the value of liberty itself and for those who died to defend it. And as Yana plays a musical homage in their memory, let us also pause and reflect on how we might best honor their legacy. As we open our prayer books again, we turn to page 32 and rise as a congregation before the open ark for Alenu. Alenu Lishabeach Laton Hakol Late Gedula Liotse Reshit Shelo Asanu Kigoye Aratso Velo Samanu Kemishpehota Adama Shelo Sam Kelkenu Kahem Vegora Lenu Kehol Hamonam Vanahnu Horim Umishmachavim Umodim Lifne Melech Malche Arlachim Hakadosh Let us adore the ever-living God. We render praise unto you, who spread out the heavens and established the earth. Your glory is revealed in the heavens above, and your greatness is manifest throughout the world. You are our God, there is none else. 
we bow our heads in reverence before the Eternal One, source of all life. Please be seated as we continue together on page 35. May the time not be distant, O God, when you shall be worshipped throughout the earth, when unbelief shall disappear and error be no more. Fervently we pray that the day may come when all people shall be guided by your teachings. Corruption and evil shall give way to purity and goodness. Superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye. When all who dwell on earth shall know that to you alone every knee shall bend and every tongue give praise. May all created in your image recognize that we are brothers and sisters so that one in spirit and one in harmony we may forever be united before you. Then shall your reign be established on earth and the word of your ancient prophet be fulfilled. The eternal God will reign forever and ever. On that day, God and God's name shall be one. Venemar ve hayaronai la melech al kol haaretz bayom hahu bayom hahu yehi adonai echad bayom hahu. Bayom ha'hu yehie Adonai echad Ushemo echad Ushemo echad Ushemo Zecher tzadik livracha. May the memory of our righteous be for a blessing. When we remember those who are no longer with us, who once were the source of our inspiration and our love, we weave the very best of who they were into who we are. As we remember our loved ones tonight, we remember G. John Vita, Jack Alter, Shirley Alter, Harry Burlat, David Rosenfield, Yuri Kelman, Abe Sussman, Daniel Shear, Philip Frost, our loved ones, the anniversary of whose death is observed on the Shabbat. And before we rise as a congregation to recite the hallowed words of the Mourner's Kaddish, I'd like to extend an invitation to anyone here who may be observing a yard site this evening or be in a period of mourning to rise first if they wish to speak the name of their loved one aloud and remain standing for the Kaddish. Let us rise with those who mourn as we turn in our prayer books to page 38 or for the transliteration, page 39, for the hallowed words of the mourner's Kaddish. Yit kadal di yit kadash shemei rabah be'alma divrach hirute be'amlich malchute be'chayechon u'b'yomechon u'b'chayedechol be'it Yisrael Ba'agala ubizman kariv, bimaru, amen. Yehesh me raba nevorach leelam ulame amaya. Yit barach, vish tabach, vit paar, vit romam, vit nase. Vita dar, vita le, vita lal, shmeid kudisha brichu. Leela min kol birchata, vishirata, tush bechata, venechemata. The Amiran be Alma, Vimaru, Amen. Shlama Rabba, Min Shemaya, the Chaim Alenu, the Al Kol Yisrael, Vimaru, Amen. Ose Shalom Bim Romav, Huya Se Shalom, Alenu, the Al Kol Yisrael, 
Vimaru. Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort all who are bereaved among us and let us say Amen. Our closing song this evening is uh, America the Beautiful. The words can be found on our song sheets. And as we sing these beautiful words, let us hold in our hearts the central meaning of Memorial Day itself, to remember those who stand strong and brave defending our country, our liberty, our freedom. spacious skies for amber waves of rain for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain America America God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. O oh, beautiful for pilgrim feet whose stern impassioned stress a thoroughfare of freedom beat across a wilderness America America come firmly every flaw confirm thy soul in self-control thy liberty in law Oh, beautiful for patriot dream that sees beyond the years thine alabaster city's gleam undimmed by human tears. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Adonai oz layam o itain, Adonai yivarech et amo shalom. May God grant strength to our people. May God bless us and people everywhere with the blessing of shalom, the blessing of peace. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.